And Gary Kaltbaum, do you think this debt bomb that we're talking about, huge deficits, is that a factor in today's market? Uh, a little bit. It's been the trajectory of rates going higher, but also the fact we were up 8,400 Dow points since the election without any correction. So you combine the two, and that's why we're in the soup right now. And the one thing I'm watching for is the lows of Tuesday's reversal, big reversal day. If they get taken out, this is going to turn into a 50, 15 to 20 percent drop, and then we'll reevaluate it from here. And watching the market today and at the close yesterday does not give me any solace right now. Lizzie, what do you got to well, say? Bank of America is now warning that the Senate spending deal will contribute to higher yields on that 10-year. Why? Because when you of unload course. a lot of government paper into the markets, you've got to raise yield to get more buyers to buy those government bonds. So when, the question is, at what point when that 10-year when that hits, is it 4%, 5%, will you not only see a dramatic downturn in the market, but will it wipe out the president's tax cut and the Republicans' tax cut stimulus? Okay. I, That's I, an issue. I think another Another way of saying it is that everything that seems kind of good news is, in fact, turning out to be bad news. One of the reasons the market may have spiked lower just recently is because unemployment claims yes. came out as 45-year low, which really signals an incredibly strong economy, yeah. and that's what we have. And that, you know, should be can good I, news, can but I it's just not add entirely one thing? good news. Mm. Yeah, Gary, go. I want to add one thing. The private economy is sizzling, is doing great. The people of this country are working their tails off to do better for themselves and their families. The problem is them in Washington, D.C. Mm. They can't stop raising the bar on how big government is and how big government intrudes into our lives every day. And the fact that I'm seeing Mitch McConnell yelping and all happy about the fact that they're raising it again, I don't even know where to begin. I'm looking for anybody on the right to do something about it and they refuse to. Liz, peak, um, a sizzling private sector, a well, sizzling economy. Won't exactly. that pull the market up at some point? It, well, and we've seen that. I mean, that's what that's the right. market's been responding to. Earnings are, you know, gangbusters, 20% mm. increase likely in the first quarter. Uh, but obviously there is this alter side, which is that interest rates are going up and that competes with stocks. Now bonds are going to start looking mm. a little more interesting, etc. Look, there's uh, you. the only silver lining may be uh, if indeed the, co the economy continues to accelerate, tax receipts uh, are going to be higher than expected. And, you know, that was a number that a lot of us argued about when the tax bill went through. Mm. The Democrats, ironically, were talking about how that was too stimulative. Uh, but the truth is, it, the tax receipts may be a little bit better than expected, so maybe the deficit won't be quite as big as expected. That's, it's a minor silver lining. But, you but know, they, will not, okay. they okay. will not keep up with what they are doing in Washington, D.C. I, I agree. We'll keep up with hundred percent certainty tax receipts are going up, plus uh, coming out of the market that's been so strong, the capital gains. But they just can't keep up with what they are doing there. They, they continue to expand their power base. They're drunk with our taxpayers dollars, and okay. again, uh, th there needs to be some sort of movement to stop them, and I don't know where to start. Before you go mm -hmm. completely apoplectic, Gary, I'm going to say <laughs> thank you very much to Liz. Thank you. Very thank you. Serenity now. No, 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 I'm getting back to you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> You're not off the hook yet. Talk to me about Goldman Sachs. They say that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin will eventually be utterly worthless. Now, I know you agree with that, so uh, vent some more, Gary. Well, I, I just think this has been a big bubble, and the coin people went crazy. There's over 1,500 different coins now and counting. And I just asked one simple question. What is the economic value of somebody making up a coin? And I still can't come up with the answer. And I, I think you're seeing the comeuppance. Price is as good as what somebody is willing to pay. Maybe it goes back up a little bit, maybe even a lot. But I just think when all is said and done, uh, D-U-S-T, dust. That's what I think these coins will be. <laughs> That's a good ending. <laughs> Gary, thank you very much indeed. Wow. I'm sure you had fun today. I can tell you had fun. <laughs> I will. You know, you know. Thanks, Gary Kalpound.